Okay, so very quick video. I'm going to show you guys how to get your MPC expansions into your standalone mode. So basically what you want to do, you want to go to your Macintosh hard drive. You want to go to library and then click application support. Once you get into application support, you're going to click Akai and then MPC. So right here, don't let these fool you how it says expansion instruments. Those are just the VST plugins. And this is just all the images. What you want to do is you want to go into content. And as soon as you go into content, you're going to see all the expansions. And basically, they got funny names. Com.akai pro.mpc.expansion all right but inside of these if you click on one of them you're going to see all the XPM program files you're going to see sequence files and at the bottom you're going to see well here are the MIDI file these are MIDI files right here but if you go all the way to the bottom these are all the WAV files so basically what you're going to do is you're going to plug up your MPC and you're going to click the controller mode so that your computer sees the hard drive. Once your computer sees the hard drive, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of these like this and you're going to create a folder. And by the way, this is for those of us that have the extra hard drive space so if you install the hard drive whether it's 250 or 500 gigs or whatever but you're going to be putting it onto the expansion hard drive of your mpc so basically you create a folder and you're going to drag them all over now i already dragged them over i already did this process so basically when you drag them over you're going to rename each one if you want to. You don't have to, but I did it just to make it easier to read on my live or on my X. So once you drag them over and rename them, all of these should look like this inside of your MPC hard drive. It's the same folder that's inside your, your computer's hard drive inside the Akai folder. So basically after you do that, you're going to eject your hard drive and then I'm going to move the camera over a little bit so y'all can see my, see my MPC. Alright, let's see. Quick little zoom over one time. Go like this. Zoom in for you. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to pull those up. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your browser. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually... Oh, I'm still in controller mode. Hold on one second. Okay, go back to standalone mode, right? <laughs> Then once you're in standalone mode, you would go to browser, places, and then my my hard drive is named MPCX SSD. So you got your internal, that's what's your internal hard drive or whatever, and then the expanded hard drive. And I got my MPC expansion folder right there. That's the list of all of them. The Trap Drums, Tim Kelly, Sound Mob, Raw Cuts. And then if you click on one of them, I'm going to click on Raw Cuts. You see all the WAV files. You see all the program files. And you see any sequence or pattern data. And you can just go ahead and load, load any of those up. Boom. And yeah, my audio's off, but... 
trying to be quiet, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you get the picture. So that's a kit that's actually supposed to be on my computer, but I threw it on there. Beats by Rossi. Subscribe, check me out. Peace.